Hello and welcome to this quick and easy tutorial on how to quickly set up a kick-ass overlay on your OBS multi-platform. You can use this for streaming on Twitch, Hitbox, or even YouTube. So I'm just going to go through some quick, easy steps here. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into your settings here. Click that. And we'll start with the general tab. This is fairly easy and straightforward. Choose your language and your theme. Default is white. Dark is dark. I prefer the dark. Go to your stream. Now your streaming services here. With Twitch, YouTube, or Hitbox, those are the three main streaming services, so those are the ones I'm going to go over. So we'll start with Twitch. First thing you're going to want to do is choose the server closest to your location. So U.S. East New York, I believe, is it closest to me? Uh, yes, it is. So we'll click that there. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is set up your stream key. Now with Twitch, let's see here, where's my Twitch? To find your stream key, very simple. You need to go here to your profile, click on your profile. Next thing you're going to want to do is click this arrow down to dashboard. Once you get to your dashboard, as soon as this ever loads, you'll see that your stream key is right here. You're going to want to click on your stream key, click show key, a uh, pop up box will come. Click on understand, and your key will show. You want to copy and paste uh, that stream key right here into your OBS, okay? And don't show that to anyone, obviously. So go ahead and apply that. If you're doing this on Hitbox, Hitbox TV, you, you need to change your stream key here. Obviously, that's my Twitch stream key. So you, in order to find your Hitbox stream key it's also fairly simple you go to hitbox.tv you click your little picture here live stream settings and then your stream keys here you show your stream key you copy it once again you'll come back and you'll paste that here for YouTube just keep everything as it is primary primary YouTube ingest server you'll go to your YouTube page here gonna want to click your picture Go to Creator Studio. Okay, live streaming. There we go. Once it loads up here. All right, you're in live streaming, and you go down here. You reveal that. You copy your stream name key here, and then you would paste that into here as well. But I prefer Twitch. That's the one I use. So that is applied. Next, you're going to want to go to your output. This is where it can get a little tricky and confusing. So we'll start here with your streaming, your video bitrate and your audio bitrate. Regardless of anything, put your audio bitrate to 320. It's just the highest quality there is. It's what you want your sound to be. Now your video bitrate is where it can get tricky. Pretty much the higher that this number is, the better quality your stream will be. Setting this can be tricky. As this number can differ greatly depending on your internet connection. So the easiest way to figure this out is to go to speedtest.net, which I have here. Just pretty much begin test. Watch out for all these ads. It's got a crap load of ads. Don't click any of these things. Let it do its thing. It shows you your download speed. You're not worried about that. What you want is your upload speed. Once you get this upload speed, you can then figure out what you should set your video bitrate to. So we'll wait for this to finish. Shouldn't take too much longer. All right, pretty good download speed, upload speed now. Alright, calculating. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this number. This is megabytes per se megabits per second. So you're going to have to remember that if it ever finishes. All right, 6.7 megabits per second. So now you're going to want to go, and I'll have all these links in the bottom. It's OBS pro obsproject.com/estimator. You want to enter all your information here that you have. Okay, 1600. That's what I have. Now the megabits per second. You want to take that number, you want to put it in thousands. I was at 6.7, so let's put it 6,700 because it's obviously kilobytes per second here. Recommend settings. All right, everything's recommended, so it tells you to set your FPS to 30. It gives you all the advice you need here to have a smooth uh, running stream on Twitch. So it tells you right here, recommended max bit rate, 3,500. That's the max. So that also includes your audio. So 3,500, just to be safe, I'll keep it at 3,000. That's a total of 3,320. 
I should be fine. You're recording. Recording path, I mean, that's wherever you want to save these videos that you record with OBS. Recording quality, same as stream. Now, your recording format is going to be on FLV. At the time this was out, that was what was hot. It's not anymore. Switch that to MP4. And then just apply that. Okay, your audio here. Basically straightforward. You want to set everything. Keep it default if you need to. You know, I just switched my microphone to the handheld microphone I'm using now. But you can pick any microphone you want to record you. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you want to push to talk on your mic, you can set that here. Whichever button that is. And a delay if you want that. Um, I don't use any of that. I just talk and it records as I go. So here with the video, I'm currently recording, so I won't be able to change any of that. But the renderer stays the same, the adapter, your your canvas resolution. One thing that I failed to do here, I you do want to switch your scaled resolution to the same as your base. There's no reason not to. And your FPS at 30, that is what it recommended on uh, the OPS project estimator page. Hotkeys, this is, this is something that is a little more um, detailed that I'll have to do in a later video. This is if you want to switch scenes and things like that. I'll show you how to do that. And then your advanced, just pretty much you can keep that all the same. That's basically straightforward minimum effort that you need to uh, set up your stream. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to have to do here, if you want to set up an overlay, real quick, easy overlay, just something simple. This is a simple vid image file. That can really spice up your stream. So we're going to open an image file. We're going to call this one uh, Overlay. All right. So I'm going to browse my uh, Dropbox here. I already have one made up. I'm going to open that. And there it is. And there we go. We just stretch that out to fit the screen. And there's the top of my Overlay. I also have a um, another one here. It's my, my cam Overlay. So we're going to type that in, my camera overlay. And once again, we'll browse my files, and I'll have to look for it. It is whatever chat new files overlay. What's in here? There we go, face cam. So there it is. We'll open that up, move it to this corner, and we're good. We have a very basic, very simple overlay but it's all saved in there and it's ready to go next thing you want to do if you do use a webcam I'm gonna add my webcam now so it's a simple video capture device okay and there I am there you want to set this up here line it up to your face obviously all right let's get that set up nice and straight so there it is, my Logitech HD Pro webcam. You can set whatever you want here. Everything, just basically leave it to default. You don't have to do much. Now you want to move that here to the corner. You want it to fit under. That might be a little bit off on size, but that's okay. Um, you see how it's over the top of my cam overlay? If I just slide this down, there you go. I mean, the sizing is a little off. If you're anal, you can, you can mess with that, but I really don't care. So I'm going to leave that just like it is for this video. So that's, a you know, your basic video camera setup right there. Video capture device. Very simple, very easy. How quick we already have just your basic uh, background for a Twitch. Now, you know, you're going to want to interact with your viewers as much as you can. So something quick and easy you can do for that is called Twitch Alerts. You go to twitchalerts.com. You log in. It's going to ask you for your Twitch information. You enter that. And you're going to have a bunch of stuff here that, a uh, bunch of things here for you to look at that, that you can coincide with your Twitch. Um, you can set donation goals, uh, gives you a bar that looks just like this here that goes up onto your, your Twitch stream. But that's not really what we're into right now. I want to um, show you the alert box, set up your alerts. It's all basically pretty straightforward. You don't have to change anything. Um, what it does is it has a website here. You set it up however you want to. Your follow alerts, your subscription, donation, hosting, everything that you want to do here. You set it up, save it. And then it gives you an address. You click launch. It gives you a little, well, not little. We'll make it little. It gives you a green box here. Alert box widget. Opens up in a new page. What you're going to want to do is go in, if you have OBS multi-form, multi-platform, sorry. You're going to want to come to... 
obsproject.com, and I will have this link in the bottom as well, so don't worry about that. You're going to want to go exactly to this website, Windows, download your latest uh, plugin here. You'll download this. You'll save it to your OBS Studio. It's going to say OBS plugins, just like this. You take the download, you drag it into this file, which I'll show you how to get to that. You go into your program files. If you're using a 64-bit, it's times 86. If you're using a 32-bit, just go to program files. So I'm using a 64. Program files, OBS Studio. Just keep it here. Take your download that says OBS-plugins from wherever you downloaded it from. Just drag it into here, and it will overwrite all of that. And what that will do is give you this option here. Browser source. You want to click on that. Add a browser source. All right, it has a website here. See that? And what you pretty much need to do is go back in to your dashboard, copy the address there, paste it here. You can change the width and the height. The FPS you want to keep at 30, but uh, that works for me. And you can see it's it's invisible now. You can't see it. I put it right in the middle of my screen. So how we're going to test this is you just test follow alert. And there it is. You root thanks for the follow. Okay. Same thing for your subscription. Has a little funky zombie guy there. You know, much appreciated donation. Just testing all this and it all comes out right there. Um, if, you, if you're gaming, obviously your game will be in the background and just the alert will come up on top of that. So you do want that to be your top line. Your top line, it's pretty much like, you know, layers here. The one on the bottom is the one on the bottom. So anything you put over that will show up over that. So just so you remember that. So that is Twitch alerts right there. Just very basic, very simple Twitch alert right there. Um, there's also what we call stream labels. It's on part of Twitch alerts. I downloaded that. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later. You can basically have all of this information, who followed you last, who donated last, who donated the most, and you can put that information on your stream. I won't be doing that here. This is just going to be a quick video, but that's also part of Twitch alerts. Now, the last thing you need to do, which I already did to make this video, just set up a simple display capture, hit the plus, click display capture. That's going to capture everything that's in your window, and that's what I'm doing here. Um, and that will record everything that's in your window. Now, of course, if you don't want people to see your backgrounds, or if it looks kind of funky like this does here, if you don't want anyone to see your background, then you need to just either make a game capture, very simple game capture, which will just record the game you are playing, or you need to create a scene switcher, which in this video I will not be doing, which pretty much when you tab out of your game, you hit a hotkey and it blocks out your background with another image. But that's a basic quick tutorial, guys, on how to set up OBS in just a couple of minutes to get gaming and uh, streaming and... Um, you know, get started on, on your Twitch hitbox or YouTube streaming career. So hopefully that helped you out. If you have any questions, just throw them down below in the section, comments. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. I'll have that link below as well. And subscribe here on YouTube. Um, there will be many more videos to come. So let me go ahead and stop this video. And thank you very much uh, for checking out this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Be well.